Well, it depends what you mean by quants. Uh, recently, the quants have become more about machine learning and artificial intelligence. So they're, they're a bit different from the traditional quants, who are just pure mathematicians. But there's still so much money to be made in, in finance for mathematicians that it'll be like that for a long time, I think. Well, the number skills are mainly about programming. That's the main job in quant finance, is, is being able to program. The trick, though, is to keep up with the ever-changing number of programming languages. So you need some mathematics, you need statistics, that's probably the most important, and then to be able to program all day, every day. I mean, we always need to look at data, see what's happened in the past, and to some extent, human beings tend to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. But you also have to have a bit of imagination to be able to look forward and to, to anticipate things that might be, be uh, coming along that have never happened before. So it's a, it's a balance between looking backwards and looking forwards. Well, I think that's a question you could apply to anything, really. I think, I think the robo-advisor, the robo-everything, you know, is going to re replace human beings until human beings become extinct, which any day now, I reckon. Oh, the Open University is incredibly important. Um, it's so important that I actually started my own competitor for it, the Certificate in Quantitative Finance, CQF.com, um, to teach people an online training course for, um, for people all around the world. I think this is very much the future, the, the online stuff. I, I'm of a certain age, and so I. I, I kind of find it strange that everybody is really into online um, education, but it's, you know, it does seem to be the future.